Breaking news, breaking news. I am very, very shook up right now. BP Earthwatch just called me one minute ago. He was almost mumbling with concern. I mean, he was beyond anything I've heard. We've just had an X class 10 solar flare, earth facing, just released from the sun. He said to me, I've never seen anything this big in my life. A four or a five is about the largest we've ever seen and they weren't earth facing. This is a 10. And then he says to me and he says, Paul, get people praying. You gotta get people praying, you don't understand. He said, when we had Fukushima earthquake, it, it came right after, a few hours after, an X-class solar flare of 1.9, not even a two, 1.9, we got Fukushima. This is a 10. I repeat, a 10. Uh, he has sent me the email. It says, because uh, I'd asked him to come on the show today, last night. He responded, yes, Heidi. Uh, he just sent this email. Yes, Heidi, we have just had a 10X solar flare. Urgent. Get the message out. Pray, pray, pray. And I just got the phone with him. He said, Paul, get a video out there. Tell the people to start praying. And he said, I'll go to work on the research right now to try to figure out how fast this thing is coming and when can we expect the, the impact from this enormous, off-the-chart CME. And when you're worried about Yellowstone, if you're worried about New Madrid fault line, if you're concerned about the Cascade fault line up by Oregon, if you're concerned about San Andreas fault, if you're concerned about San Francisco, if you're concerned about anywhere in the world, where there's the, anywhere in this ring of fire, anywhere, anywhere there's a tectonic plate that is dangerous or, 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 or ready to go, it depends where the earth is at in its rotation as it's spinning. When this, when this CME hits, it just, you just, I'm not in control of this. You're not in control of this. God is in control of this. And he told us in his word, this is part of the end time apocalyptic situation. Now let's go back to the eclipse. I'm going to say it again. Remember what I told you. The Lord showed me about 10 to 12 days before the eclipse. He said, this is a warning to America. This is a warning of the end times. You must tell the people. And then Mark Biltz also said the same thing. It was a warning from God. It wasn't a judgment. It's a warning. The judgment of God, believe me, when he pours out his wrath, you'll know what that is. This is the warnings. And we're and this was a 40-day window from the because the solar eclipse was on the first day of Elu. We have 40 days of repentance. Look what we've had so far. This is only day 16. What have we had? Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Jose is right behind there. Another hurricane might form in the Gulf. It's called Tropical Depression 13. We don't know where Irma's going. Is it going to hit Florida? Is it going to shoot up and hit the Carolinas? Is it going to go away? I hope. Is it going to shoot into the Gulf? I don't know. And now, and we have Kim Jong-un detonating nuclear 120 kiloton bombs. And now we have an X-Class 10? What? Okay, so I need some people praying right here, right now. Then go to your Bible. Read this prophetic verse. It is Luke 21, 25. Listen closely to what Jesus said. During the end times, he says, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. That's your solar eclipse and your Revelation 12 constellation. And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, okay, or confusion. The sea and the waves roaring. All right, there's your hurricanes. There's your Kim Jong-un, the earth is in distress and all the other things going on. Men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things coming upon the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Here comes your X-Class CME. You know what it says next? Then shall they see the son of man 
coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head. Your redemption's drawing nigh. Earthquake warning, earthquake warning, earthquake warnings. Are you saved? Don't miss today's live broadcast starts at 12 noon Eastern. My guest will be BP Earthwatch. Update on all this. Well, the sun has unleashed its largest flare in over a decade, and its effects are now being felt here on Earth. So far, the event has triggered radio blackouts, and this weekend, people living in high-latitude regions might actually see beautiful auroras in the sky. RT's Brigida Santos has some of these stunning images from, her, from NASA rather, in her latest report. The sun has produced six sizable flares in the same region since Monday. The two most recent were captured Thursday morning by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. Both flares were massive, but the second is the largest on record since 2006, measuring a whopping X9.3. NASA classifies flares according to strength, placing the weakest in the A-class and the strongest, like this one, in the X-class. In comparison, the largest flare in history is classified as an X28. A solar flare is a powerful burst of radiation. While harmful rays can't pass through Earth's atmosphere and hurt humans, it can disturb the atmospheric layer that GPS and communications signals travel through, which is why there was a radio blackout following the event. Flares release large amounts of energy into space, which send clouds of electrons, atoms, and ions toward Earth. Scientists say sky watchers in high latitude regions can expect brilliant auroras resulting from these particles as early as today. The sun is currently heading toward a low activity period in its natural 11 year cycle, which makes these events all the more puzzling to scientists. In recent weeks, we have seen the devastating effects of extreme weather on Earth, and these abnormal solar flares reveal that extreme weather is also happening in space. In Los Angeles, Brigitte Santos, RT.